What's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to Teardown Tuesday and today we have a teardown on the brand new iPhone SE. But well, as you can see it's already taken apart because it didn't really survive our tests. If you want to see why, then just check out the links down below in the description. And now I would say, let's get directly started and let's see what this baby has got under the hood. Alright guys, so there we go. Here's the iPhone SE. So here you can see it, rose gold edition, 16 gigabytes. And yeah, um, it looks from the outside almost like an iPhone 5, 5 SE. One of the main differences is the dual tone LED flash and also um, the home button. But um, at the first look, it really looks like the iPhone 5 or 5 SE. Even some parts are compatible, so there's absolutely no innovation in the design. Um, good job, Apple, by the way. Yeah, um, then here, for instance, the SIM card tray is compatible. The screen, so the whole unit is compatible. Um, the home button not, so the home button is also different, looks different, touch ID. And yeah, um, actually from the outside, not a huge difference. So I would say first of all, let's get started here with the front panel and let's talk a little bit about it. So as you can see, it's shattered. Now the display is way brighter than on the iPhone 5, so that's what we have pointed out. Um, it's not waterproof, so water came easily between the glass and, and the display, so also there's a gap between that. Um, not really good glued together, so water gets definitely in there. But um, even though it has some advanced waterproof treatment on the inside, so you can um, check out waterproof tests on YouTube where it survives a couple of hours, but we had bad luck and it was breaking down immediately. Now here at the top we have um, the whole unit for speaker and everything, and yeah, that's the front unit. Um, the Touch ID cable, so from the home button, it's still um, working, so you have to be really careful if you want to open up your iPhone. There are some pentalobe screws at the bottom of the frame, so two of them, um, you just have to unscrew them, then take a suction pad and separate the case parts, so the top unit and the bottom unit. So this is actually easy to do, except for the screwdriver, which is a special one. Now if you want to see a, a real teardown, iFixit has a pretty nice video on this one here. Okay, so let's um, check out here the inside. As you can see, there's the battery, and here we have the motherboard. And um, yeah, you probably have already seen it from the outside, so nothing super special, just an iPhone 5. Everyone knows how it looks like. And I will now quickly take it apart here in a quick time lapse. But first of all, have you ever wondered what happens if you fucking stab a battery? Me too. Okay, I thought it will probably burn. Nope. So <laughs> this only happens if you have a, a way bigger battery or if it's really fully charged. So we did this here with a power bank, 20,000 milliamp hours. But here on the iPhone, oh, it smells a bit terrible, but nothing is going to work if you stab your battery. So no explosion. I don't lose my hands. And yeah, that's it, guys. So now let's just do the time lapse and let's see um, what parts we can find inside. Holy fuck, that absolutely smells terrible. Don't do this at home, kids. Oh, it smells even more terrible, and it gets, oh, really super hot. Oh, fuck. So guys, better safe than sorry, so always wear some kind of protection. This shit is smelling really terrible, and also it gets pretty warm, so it doesn't burn down, but it gets really, really hot, so I can barely hold it. So always better safe than sorry, and wear a gas mask, so don't even try to do this at home. Oh my goodness. So, I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, seems that, like... It's going to burn down anyway. Oh. Alright, so here's the teardown iPhone. Uh, well, we have here the battery, and the battery it's not compatible with the iPhone 5, so it has a different shaped connector, which you can see right over here, and also you can see it here from the inside, so that green thing and all that. Uh, well, um, the capacity is a little bit bigger, so it's 6.21 watt hours, so if we calculate that, that's 6. 1,210 divided by the voltage of the battery, which is 3.82 volts, then we get 1,625 milliamp hours. So this is the actual capacity of the battery. 
So well, that's it. Um, at the top we have the vibration motor in the left top corner and we also have here several other things like those flex cables and connectors um, for the PCB boards. Okay, so that's the inside. Um, the aluminum here is really solid, so that's a really tough one, really hard to bend. So we couldn't bend it with our fingers and you really have to apply a lot of force. So it's actually um, a super um, stable product, the iPhone shit edition. Okay, now let's put it beside and let's have a closer look at the components we can see right over here. So here we have the main motherboard, so the logic board. We also have here the bottom PCB, so this is basically um, the lightning port, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and also flex cable which holds all that together. Um, yeah, here's also a microphone and that's it. If you wonder how the speaker looks like, now I think the speaker on the iPhone 5, 5 SE is pretty terrible, so we have tested it out while the phone was working and it sounds absolutely crappy, so I think speaker on the phone is pretty shitty. Now the rear camera model, which is now the same one like um, the one you can find in the 6S, so um, the pixel size has also decreased, so from 1.5 to 1.22 micrometers, and it's 12 megapixels can do 4K recording, so I think the camera model should still work but also there was water in the lens so it looked quite blurry so maybe it's still um, broken all right so that's it um now you can see there are those silver um cases around the chip so those are if shields and i will now quickly remove them so we can have a look at the actual chipset we can find inside and here you can already see the water damage so let's just go and let's take it apart <music> Well guys, here's the logic board, so let's check it out now. There we go. So it did break into two parts, as you can see. So like a puzzle, we even have here like 30% of the eMMC storage. So by the way, um, the iPhone uses Toshiba eMMC, so 16 gigabytes of storage are in this chip. Now here we have the Wi-Fi module, so that big one here. Then we also have here the NFC and um, the um, charging IC and down there we have the audio IC which you can see right over here. So basically yeah that's the motherboard, um, pretty small one and on the back side um, right to the SIM card tray which is a nano SIM card tray we have the Apple A9 dual core processor. Alright, so as you can see, um, it comes with pretty good hardware on the inside. If you um, have a look at the connectors here, then you can also see that there is some kind of ceiling around them to prevent dust entry. Um, yeah, some people claim it's like waterproof treatment, but anyways, um, this is not going to save your smartphones. Don't believe any miracles that this smartphone here is waterproof, so we have tested and it will break down as expected. Alright guys, so that's the smartphone from the inside, and yeah, that's the iPhone SE. All right, all right, guys. So that was our teardown of the iPhone SE. Now it goes directly into the trash. So that was also our full coverage of the iPhone SE until the end. There will be a last video this week, but it's a surprise, so stay tuned. And yeah, um, that's it, guys. So um, if you also share my opinion, like it's a crap phone, then just leave a comment down below with hashtag shit phone. And if you like this phone, then just leave us a comment down below why you like the iPhone SE. And yeah, see you soon in the next one. Have a nice day and thank you so much much for watching.